What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Haley. This is Rob. That's Mackie. Where'd he go? That's Mackie. And this is Rob and Haley and this is a, a long weekend vlog. So it's currently Thursday afternoon. I have tomorrow off. Rob has a half day tomorrow. And then we have Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's 4th of July weekend. So I think this vlog is actually gonna be in two parts. It'll be a long weekend vlog and a 4th of July vlog. You'll probably see the 4th of July vlog first and then the long weekend vlog. But yeah, it's Thursday afternoon. We are heading down to get some drinks and food. I'm really excited because I am almost done with Whole30. I'm not officially done yet, but I'm five days away, but next weekend we're going to get our engagement photos done. We're also trying out some restaurants for like our rehearsal dinner and stuff. And I wanna be able to like properly try out the restaurants and not just eat like meat. But I wanna slowly add things back in like you're supposed to do with Whole30 so I can figure out like what trigger foods I have. And I don't have enough time to do that from when I officially end Whole30 to when we go to those restaurants. So I'm just gonna slowly start adding back in now. So I don't know what I'm gonna do first, but I'm definitely gonna get this hummus plate that they have um, because I love their hummus plate at the place we're going and um, hummus is technically not allowed. So I'm gonna start with that. I don't even know if I'm gonna get a drink. It just depends if I feel like it. And yeah, I think I'm gonna add dairy back in first. Oh, he's out. Did you roll down his window or did he roll down his window? Okay, I don't have a sleep. It's not attached to him. Okay, there you go, buddy. Now you can look out the window. Mackie knows how to roll down his own window, by the way. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along with this weekend. I'm really excited to have a long weekend. Are you excited for a long weekend? So nice. Rob's going dirt biking tomorrow after work. Ooh, will you take your GoPro and put some, get some footage? I can't. Why not? I lost the note. All right, well, never mind. I was gonna get some footage. Maybe take a picture. If I remember. Okay, if he remembers, he'll take a picture and you'll see it here. And if not, then you didn't see anything. Probably that because he's probably gonna forget. So anyway, we are headed down to this restaurant. I'm so excited. We haven't been here in a long time. But yeah, it's a like nice little bar restaurant um, near the ocean. It's really nice out. Clearly, as Mackie's looking out the window. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out Hi Mackie! You look so cute in your 4th of July bandana Okay. Bye Good morning friends! It is Friday morning. I have the day off. Little dude has his little 4th of July bandana on. Um, we have four, and so I'm having him wear one every day this weekend because they're all cute. But yeah, I just ordered acai. I'm gonna go to the post office. We're gonna go get Starbucks and get little dude a pup cup. Mackie, do you want a puppuccino? Yeah, in a little bit. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go do that. And, hi buddy. Um, I'm kind of cleaning up around the house, but I need to go to the post office. Um, and then I'm gonna go pick up my acai bowl. I'm also gonna show you guys, I got a couple more dresses. So if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, um, the laundry just finished. So while I chat with you guys, I'm gonna um, switch it over. But if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you probably saw that I'm trying out uh, or I tried on a couple different white dresses for our engagement photos. There's clean, dry laundry in the dryer. That's probably been there for a week, but I haven't folded yet. 
whoops. But yeah, so I got like a couple different dresses um, and I've kind of narrowed it down to two from that, but I had also already ordered a couple of dresses from Lulu's and so those came yesterday. So I'm gonna try those on today. I'm gonna post it on TikTok and Instagram again, but I'll also post it, like share it in this video because I'm gonna be posting this video before my engagement photos, I think. Hey, Bubba. Hi. Although I might not be, so maybe I won't show you guys. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try those on today because um, I need to decide our engagement photos are next weekend. And I just don't know what to wear. Like, I like one of the dresses that's kind of like the top runner that got the most votes on TikTok and Instagram, but I'm not 100% sold on it. And I had already ordered these dresses. So like, I, you know, it wasn't like I ordered them after. So I need to try those on. And then also I ordered the other day, Hollister was having like a big sale and I ordered a bunch of stuff for both Rob and I. And for me, I mostly ordered a couple new bikinis, but they were on at such good sale. Like they were on sale for like $10 a piece, which is like, that's so good. So I ordered a couple new bikinis and I got Rob some more shorts from there that he likes because they usually, every time I try to get them, they are out of stock, but they had a bunch. So I got him some of those. I think I got some other stuff. So I, and, the whole point of talking about that was I think I'm getting that package today. I didn't think I was gonna get it till next week, but on my like, I get the like informed mail delivery thing um, that tells you like what's coming that day. And I got, it showed that the package was coming today from Hollister. So I'm really excited if it is because then I get to wear those new bathing suits all weekend. So, I really didn't need new bathing suits, but I also have a bunch of old ones that I could probably get rid of. So, I'm gonna go through my bathing suits now. So, we don't have like anywhere to dry our clothes really. So, I just hang it um, on the backs of chairs and then I hang up the shirts in our the back rooms. Um, so that's what I do with our laundry. Okay, I'll catch up with you guys in the car. Mackie, should we go on an adventure? Do you want to go on an adventure? Come on! Let's go! Are you going to let me put your harness on? Come here, please. Come here. Come here, all the way. You're such a weenie, huh? You're such a weenie. We have to put full harness on because we have to get out of the car. We need to go to the post office. All right, good boy. You ready? Let's go. Uh uh, wait. Okay, come on. We'll get you in the car.
roll down your windows, but I have to hold your leash. I'm so glad it warmed up because it was like kind of, it was like cloudy and gloomy this morning when I walked Mackie. Um, so yeah, I woke up, I actually woke up at 3.30 and Rob had just gotten up for work and come here Mac, let's take a thumbnail. So anyway, Rob woke up at 3.30 to go to work because he had to get a lot done today, I guess. And so he like, I was, I woke up when he got up but I was able to fall back asleep till like 6.30 and then I got up around 7.30, I worked out, I walked Mackie and got ready and now we are gonna go run some errands and pick up breakfast. Come here, buddy. So yeah, I've been needing to go to the post office for literally weeks. I need to send out one. I got um, my friend Rachel Moster. She um, asked me to get her daughter Chloe from Disneyland. They had these, um, popcorn holders that were Cinderella's carriage and so she asked me to get her one for her daughter and of course I did so I need to send that out I've been meaning to send it forever and then I also have a package of goodies for my friend Bex who is in the UK um, I met her through YouTube as well her channel is life with kids and cats and um, she lives in the UK and she sent me a package like way back in like December of 2019 and I've been meaning to send her something since then and I finally got all the stuff together and have it to send and I've been ha I've had it to send for like two weeks now and two weeks ago I took it to UPS and it was insanely expensive to ship both of them and at UPS they were like no try to ship it from the post office so then I went the other day but it was like 450 10 minutes before they closed and the line was super long so I didn't want to wait and I was like I'll just go during the day one day well today I have off so I'm going today um, I'm sure it's gonna be expensive to ship especially to England I usually ship using the priority packages because those are like within the US if you ship through USPS they have these priority packages and you just pay for the size of it no matter what the weight is so i really like those because like you can make it as heavy as you want but you just pay for the size um but i didn't i'm not doing that because the package for rachel slash her daughter is super light because it's just like the popcorn bucket thing um and a bunch of bubble wrap and then the other one obviously is international so you put you guys probably don't care about that but i'm just explaining what i'm doing so yeah, let's go to the post office. I'm also listening to Morbid, so it's a good episode. Speaking of which, today I think I'm also gonna sit outside and we are um, gonna be soon recording episodes for our podcast after like the first season because the first season's almost done. And I'm so excited. I've been researching a case that I'm really excited to share about. Um, and I'm gonna do more of that today, I think. Okay, that was a lot. So my dumbass walked into the UPS store or the U USPS store, the post office, and like at the UPS store, when you mail something out, they print the labels there for you. So I just had the addresses on little post-it notes that are actually still in my pocket. Um, on the boxes and I walked in like up to the window and the guy's like, okay, well you gotta put them over there. And I was like, oh, okay, I, they don't have addresses on them. He's like, well, you need to write it on the box. And he was really nice and he gave me a marker so I could write it on the box. And then for the international one, I had to fill out like a customs form. Um, and he like, it's all good and we got it mailed out. But I walked in there like a dumbass, like carrying these two big boxes and my dog, like, being like, ah, oh, ha ha, like, I have these packages, here, help. And <laughs> that's not what you're supposed to do. So good to know, if you mail from USPS and you don't do the priority mail, you write the address in the box. So anyway, we're gonna go to Starbucks now and then get my acai bowl. You're so cute. You know it too, huh? I just made an Instagram story that I'm vlogging today. See? Yes, you're gonna get a puppuccino, don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too. I'm looking out from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. 
You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door it just makes me feel like I'm back in college that's weird all right get it off of my hand oh it just fell here lick it off the mask okay here we can spend you got it everywhere Bubba here it's in here you literally got it everywhere dude okay. All right, was that yummy? You ready? Come on. Let's go get mommy's acai. And then we're gonna go home and then you can nap. Oh, my hands are all sticky now, Bubba. No, don't lick it more, they're sticky. All right, so here is my acai bowl and my passion tango tea. Matthew's gonna go take a nap. And I am gonna watch Guardians of the Galaxy. So if you've been following us for a while, you know that we are watching the all of the Marvel movies in timeline order. And Rob got bored of the Guardians movie and didn't want to keep watching it. So I was like, fine, I'm gonna watch it by myself and then we can move on. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Okay, so ignore this crazy hair. But I suntanned for a while outside. And then I finished Guardians of the Galaxy 1, and now I ordered this Whole30 pizza and am watching Guardians 2. So the pizza is gluten-free crust. I did, and I checked the ingredients in the crust, and the only thing that's not fully Whole30 is it said it contains a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of sugar, but whatever. Um, and then I did, so gluten-free crust, vegan cheese, uh, spicy red sauce, and then I got on mine ham, pineapples, black olives, and chorizo. It is from Blaze Pizza and it smells so good. Mackie wants some, so I'm gonna go sit on the couch, eat this. Rob is out dirt biking, so I'm just home alone and keep watching Guardians of the Galaxy 2. All right, so I ate my dinner, it was really good, and then I actually went and sun caught like the rest of the sun, suntanned a little bit more. I'm reading this book. It's called The Husband's Secret by uh, Leanne Moriarty, and she's the same person that wrote Big Little Lies. Um, so if you haven't read the book or seen the show, I would recommend doing both. I read the book before seeing the show, and it was really good. Um, the show is also really good. So yeah, same author. It's a really good book. I started it on... When did I start it? I think I started it on Wednesday and I'm already like That's how much I have left. So I'm already almost done with it. Um, so it's really really good highly recommend it But yeah, I'm gonna work on this puzzle. I've had this puzzle my friend lent it to me and I've had this puzzle forever And I got all of the corner pieces out and I got some of the edges done But it's really like trippy because I don't know if you can really tell in the camera But like if you look at it from different angles, they look like different colors but it's really good lighting in here right now, so I'm gonna work on the puzzle and continue to watch Guardians 2. And Mackie suddenly has a lot of energy, so. Hi. Oh, now you're sleepy. Huh, you sleepy boy. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm gonna time lapse the puzzle and see how far I get while I watch Guardians.
30 at night. I have not picked up the camera today. This morning we took in a quick early beach trip um, to the dog beach with Mackie. It was a lot of fun. Okay, my camera died. So this morning we took a beach trip to the dog beach with Mackie. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was just a quick, quick trip. When we got home, we just rinsed him off and then I went and got my eyebrows done. Um, for the first time since January of 2020, I have like insanely thick eyebrows, so they like needed to be done. Um, and then after that, we went up to my parents for like a cookout. Robert's parents came as well. We just had a barbecue. We were talking about some wedding planning stuff, but just catching up. We took Mackie in the pool and he didn't love it. He doesn't like, he likes the ocean where he can stand but he doesn't like swimming, so he is exhausted, but he did a really good job swimming. So we did that, we hung out in the jacuzzi, now we are back home. I think we're gonna watch the next Marvel movie and just relax. Um, so yeah, sorry I didn't pick up the camera today, but it was a really nice, fun day with family, relaxing, and we tired little dude out. <laughs> so I hope you guys all had a good weekend. Mackie says the same, and he says, leave me alone. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow on July 4th. Hey friends, happy, it's Monday today. Um, so we both have it off. It's like the observing 4th of July day. Please ignore my face, I'm not wearing any makeup, and my contacts are messed up, so they're really bugging me. But it's Monday, um, Rob went, he had to go um, un unload and clean the dirt bikes at his parents. So he went and did that. And then um, I got up and I worked out. And now I'm making breakfast and just kind of cleaning up. I have a whole bunch of stuff on my to-do list, like booking some flights, um, figuring out what Rob's gonna wear for our engagement photos, um, looking into our honeymoon so we can get that booked as soon as it is like available. So just a lot of like random stuff on the to-do list that I need to get done that I really have been putting off and that's what I'm gonna try to get done today. Plus the sun is finally coming out so I'm gonna go enjoy some time out in the sun, suntan, and just enjoy the day. Mackie is, Mackie is exhausted. So he's just been sleeping. So, um, we also need to bathe him today because we didn't bathe him yesterday. We were gonna take him back to the beach, but he is so tired. So we're just not gonna do that and just bathe him here um, because he needs a good bath after a couple beach days and some pool days. And he's been doing a lot, so he needs the rest. Mm -hmm. 